In this video we're going to look at how a contamination overlayer can influence a quantification. And we'll illustrate this using a set of survey spectra that have been acquired from gold. These first two represent cleaned surfaces. The first one has been cleaned for 600 seconds with an iron beam. The second one only for 30 seconds. And you can see that the quantification from these three gold peaks are very similar between these clean gold surfaces. However, if we look at a surface prior to cleaning, you can see that the quantification is really quite different. And the reason that this quantification is different is due to this carbon peak here. This carbon peak is indicating that we have a material at the surface. It was there when you hit the surface with an iron beam, it goes away. So you can see this. There's the carbon, and that's after cleaning. So it, it goes away, so it's at the surface. So the question is, if you have a contamination, can you use any one of these peaks to quantify for gold? If you do not know the extent of this contamination, then clearly you have to be very careful about the amount of gold if you measured with the 4S versus the 4F. So, can we do anything about this? And the answer is, uh, we can. If you select in the right hand side, and then select the dialog window, you end up with some options now that give you the escape depth correction. And right now we've got effective attenuation length is the method for correcting the, these data. And what I'm going to do is switch this from effective attenuation length to a, a correction that, that will be the effective attenuation length. It will also include a hydrocarbon film thickness. So we'll start off by just setting the film thickness to zero and say apply. And we get the same answer as we got before. So I've made n no correction in addition to the escape depth correction at this point. If I now enter here a value of 1.8 and then apply this correction. So these are the values before the correction is applied. After the correction has been applied, we then get the result that looks pretty consistent with as if we've got a clean sample. So the peak areas have been now adjusted for the overlayer of the of a carbon a hydrocarbon film now the value that i entered is 1.8 and this would be relative to a pure hydrocarbon something like pp hex uh, this isn't pp hex so the value is probably an overestimate of the film thickness but this would this is somewhere in the ballparks of a of a film thickness of pp hex if it were covering this gold uh, in nanometers.